I'm sure most of you guys are aware by now, but Attack on Titan, the final season part two did get announced on Twitter earlier today. So I just want to say with how good Attack on Titan was this season, with how good Jujutsu Kaisen currently is, because I'm currently watching and I know it, it ended as well. I just want to say we should all come together on whatever social medias you guys have and just say thank you to, to MAPPA for just absolutely killing the anime game, delivering some kick-ass animes. And I, I know we're all eagerly anticipating Attack on Titan part two of this season i i know there's a little trailer I, i'm not gonna watch it because i want to go into it as blind as possible but i just gotta say mappa you guys are killing it like you guys are making it i know you guys have had a name for you i know so many studios have had a name for themselves forever but just it's becoming a household name and like shouts out to them it's fucking amazing What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode 16, called Above and Below. With how last episode was, it just confirmed that this show is so much deeper than I like. Watching seasons one, two, you're like, okay, this is crazy. This is getting a little deep. And then season three, you're like, okay, this is getting deep. Season four, no question. This show is up there with the. I mean, it's it's been one of the greats of the greats, but it's solidified. Like, I think obviously it has to end and the ending has to still be upholding, you know, shouts out Game of Thrones, but it is definitely solidified as one of the greats, if not the greatest in a lot of people's minds anime of all time, you know, um, with how many characters, like I, I tweeted not too long ago, follow me on Twitter, by the way, guys, but I tweeted like Attack on Titan, such as like Game of Thrones, like Breaking Bad or one of those shows where you love characters you want to hate and you hate characters you want to love. It's so decisive or so divisive. It's so political. It's so controversial. This show just makes friends on turn on friend, brother turn on brother. It's I've, I've had arguments with a lot of people I know about this show and about morality and about are the characters, what they're doing. Is it right? Is it wrong? This, that and the other. That's how great of a show this is. It's Sayama is a madman he's a genius you know i don't know what's gonna happen in this finale i i do know the part two is coming and i'm so excited for that i don't know what happened with zeke and that explosion he had that whole flashback about the euthanization how that came to develop his relationship with cassaver how he met how he saw how that conversation with aaron the um they called it the euthanization plan it was more like a sterilization plan that caused some confusion among some other reactors i kind of got the gist I, I mean i do know euthanization is mainly for putting something that's already alive down like for i know it's mainly used in terms of when you're talking about pets and stuff but sterilization is the proper term i would say so you know glad that cleared up the confusion i wasn't really ever confused it's just the terminology of course but uh i say we hop right on this episode i am so fucking excited oh we I, i'm so ready for this Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, many, many more, check out that Patreon down below. Links are always there for you guys. We are four episodes ahead on those shows. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a nice comment to help me out with that YouTube algorithm. It helps so much, guys. Hit that bell so you guys always know when I post. Follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Let's hop right on into this. Attack on Titan, final season, episode 16 above and below they just heard the explosion <sighs> a thunder spear that's why it's called a thunder spear yeah i sure hope levi's okay oh that is right towards zeke i wonder what they're gonna think when they see him if he dies without someone eating his power just passes on to another eldian child right actually a beautiful shot with the flowers around him in the rain is that the end of the main man Zeke who is this pure Titan I am currently seeing what? I don't know if I missed something or what, but I have no idea what was going on right there. <laughs> Elena did say that. So the white is a, a long-term Jaegerist from a good amount ago. Red for those who learn, yep, forced to comply. 
I see. I see. Damn, they got a whole labeling system for everything. It does really sound like I want to... Oh, Lord. Ooh. That is not it. Now that we know the actual plan, it's kind of crazy. I can't wait to find out or see her when she finds out that he uh, is dead or what happened to him. Why is Aaron doing a lot of the things he does? Why do madmen do what they do? Mm. Yeah, John and Connie would have done the same thing Armin would have done. They would have swung. They would have not taken that slander. Could there be? I wonder as well. See how much are the plans going to change once they find out about Zeke? I'm so curious. It did go exactly as planned so far, up until the whole Zeke thing. Look at Nicolo going off. Ooh, Grease is. Ooh, ooh. I was about to say, he would get it. He was mad disrespectful. Okay, Yelena. Now, I'm trying to remember last episode. Uh, no, yeah, I was going to say, does Yelena know the in-depth plan of the sterilization? But when um, Aaron and Zeke met, he was like, uh, yeah, Yelena's stance that she told you is correct. I am this. Are you for the euthanization plan? So, yeah, she definitely knows. So she's she's playing this. I don't I don't know what angle she's playing at because she's really good at playing angles, but she's playing it very well. Like technically, she's telling the truth to end the cycle of hatred. Oh. That's the only way to motivate her to do anything at this point. Oh, I thought Peak was on their side, but she is infiltrating. She is nice at infiltration. That is a good question. That's a, that's a fair guess, fair assumption. Ooh, now that is most definitely accurate. But I don't think she's going down this easily as well. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
No, they would never let you go free. That's facts. They will always see you that way, sadly. There will be good ones, you know, but... Now that I fully agree with. Ooh. <laughs> like Reiner and Porco. I think they would probably understand it more knowing Zeke and Cassavra's story a little bit. But yes. True. No matter how old they are, they could always do that. Which we still don't know. Still don't know who the father is. The brothers as legends for millennia to come. Like the gods of the past. I still remember when she first saw Zeke in Beast Titan form, she saw him as a god. Really? There's Porco. I saw Porco. I saw Porco. Wait, I thought she was gonna point out Porco. Really、because she was there。俺はお前の理解者だ。エリ、いつかお前を救い出してやるから僕の秘密も話したんじゃないのか。So, yeah, they were supposed to come up to the roof and point out the enemy, but poor goes down stairs. Aaron's ready to transform at any time because they don't trust anyone. I think Peek has a plan. I don't know what's going on. I think I think she didn't turn. She's still on Marley's side. <laughs> yep. Yep. Poor goes down below. Jaw tighten. That was so close. Almost got him. Oh, that's some legs gone. That's some kneecaps bit off. Holy shit. I'd literally be like, what the fuck? My boy protecting him. Yeah, this was a risky plan. This was a risky plan. Oh. Alright, I... I shouldn't have lost faith in you, Peek. Yep, that's them. Coming in hot. Okay, that's a very good answer. I don't trust Marley, but I trust the comrades I fought along with for years and years and years to come. That's Magath. Oh, <laughs> Reiner. They know exactly where Aaron is, too. Like, directly to the founding time. Oh, my. We got Colt, Reiner. We got Falco down below, Aaron, Peek, Gabby. Army, Mikasa, everybody right here on parody. Right I think my heart gave out at the end of that episode there for a second. I needed to like, somebody had to come and do CPR on me. And then I came back, I was like, <gasps> I'm just so glad they announced that part too. I knew they would have to. It's just, I'm so looking forward to that absolutely phenomenal episode i knew they couldn't wrap it up in 16 episodes oh my lord and they did well oh it's just starting like why did it have to i gotta wait a fucking i gotta wait like a year oh it hurts my heart even to say that but i was gonna start this discussion off by saying r.i.p to zeke but then i remember and i'm like oh shit he is not we don't even know what happened to levi now what that didn't look like Levi because it was like fucking fat. fat. Okay, so hold on. 
My thing is, we don't know what happened to Levi. I'm praying to God Levi did not die. He was dead ass on that explosion. We don't even, we didn't even see Hanji and Flock go after there after that explosion because he said that's heading that direction. So curious what's going to happen with that. Okay, so when Zeke turned all of Levi's guys into titans and ran off with three of them i know levi took down all the titans back then but did he also take down the three fighting with him or did he transform immediately and then it was just beast titan versus levi i might need to go back and rewatch that but if he did take out all three of them then that really makes me question and wonder who this one that like fucking fucking kangarooed him and put it in the in the pouch because if it was one of the three I could understand because he's the one who screamed to transform them. Maybe he had some set in mind, like not mind trick, but set in set in like jutsu that says, hey, if anything happens to me, keep me in here so I can come back to life off your like your maybe I can survive off your Titan spinal fluid. Maybe it's to secure the beast titan without maybe it's just like I don't know. And I'm so curious. Cause if it's not those three, then did Flock or one of them come over, have some spite uh, some spinal fluid on them, and then they took it? What happened to Levi? I'm still curious. Would Hanji like I'm so Oh, and but I love the the it was raining, it was a storm, then they heard the explosion that said thunder. Is that thunder? And that was a thunder spear. I love that. I love the shot of Zeke in like the grass with the rain with the flowers. He's saying, Am I dying? It was a beautiful, beautiful shot. Um it's so crazy and then it cuts to pixies with elaine at the table and she was saying we're meeting at this table again which the last time she said that was like such an high hopes and good spirits like hopefully you know like positive times in the future but now it's from now we know exactly what she meant by that and it's a little crazy it's a little it's a little and then we got not only the people who turned originally back in the day but the new people who have turned due to them being under constant threat of that spinal fluid juice which they uh, have the bands to, dif to, to dif differentiate themselves which is just like marley to do which is crazy i love that how she was like it's ironic uh he's like were we foolish or wise because we untrusted our guest who we were supposed to trust but we untrusted our guest who ended up betraying us so was it foolish or wise she said it's both foolish and wise interesting right there she did end up telling the plans to armin and everyone else who they were taking it i i still am so curious about armin i don't think was he actually touched because he was definitely, I still firmly do somewhat believe that he was affected by Bert Holt's memories. He does really, we didn't even see Annie. I thought for sure Annie would come back already. Um, oh, she, oh my God, bro. <laughs> Annie was so prevalent in the first season. We haven't seen her since then, but Bert Holt, Armin, Annie, all of it. Like, I, I, our, like that's the biggest thing I'm, I'm curious about. We have Armin uh john mikasa and connie their kind of squad as like an, an entity of in and of self with like pixies and all them then we have jaeger and the jaegerus and then we have marley with magath reiner porco and peak it's just it's just like it's three different parties and is it the enemy of my enemy is my friend is it my enemy my you know it's just it's it's so deep and i was not expecting this and i i definitely I don't know which side to, I want to vote for. I don't know what side I want to root for. Like, I definitely, I don't want Aaron to win because I agree with Connie. He's being a piece of shit. I think I have to, but then I don't know what's going to happen with Armin and Mikasa and all of them because they're in the worst predicament. They're in all in jail. And if Armin did want to transform, he would literally kill everybody. So it's just like, I don't know who to root for. I don't want to root for Marley either because it's Marley. So it's just, it's so complicated. <laughs> It's so deep, but I definitely know this Reiner rematch is going to happen and it's going to be absolutely insane. I am so looking forward to it. Oh, the whole peak uh, double whammy of a betrayal really got me. Like I, I sh they got me really well. They got Gabby really well. We they even talked about what the plan when it comes to the Yelena. They talked about Historia and how she can continue this until like a, a good ways away the threat of the rumbling. But we still don't know. Like oh, they have so many linging story threads that I just want it to be wrapped up so bad. But like, who's the father? Whoa, whoa. I'm so curious. There's I don't know, man. See, part two is gonna be is gonna be fucking eleven out of ten. I could it's gonna be S plus plus tier. Mappa, you guys are killing the game. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. This shit was amazing. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. I will catch you in this next episode. I'll, oh, I can't even say that. I'll catch you guys next year.
Don't forget to check out Patreon now for the other shows like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, Black Clover, all that. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Peace out.